Hi everyone, I'm Mommy Black from the Little Baby Boo Nursery. Today we're starting a three-part series on making the most out of an ABDL convention. Today is gonna to be all about the prep work, preparing to go to the convention. Now, we know that a convention can be like super exciting and also super anxiety provoking, right? But hopefully with some of the tips and tricks that we put together in this video, including our packing list, you will be set and ready to go. All right, let's do this thing. So I've created this handy dandy little packing list for you and it's totally free for you to download. It's at littlebabyboonursery.com and it includes a bunch of things from super important things like IDs and insurance cards to fun stuff that you would need at specifically an ABDL function. Most of the list is pretty standard, like clothes, shoes, whatever, but there are a few things that I wanted to go over because I think that they're super important. So you'll notice on here in Muy Importante, I put to bring some cash. And that's because at a couple of different conventions that I've been to, people have um, tried to use their credit cards and it just they just wouldn't work. So they're kind of stuck. So I would bring a little bit of cash um, just to tide you over if you need to like take an Uber to the ATM or whatever, or actually very importantly to tip, to leave a little something for the housekeeper or whomever you'd like to. Okay, so this is your time to shine. All of the cute things that you have that you've been wanting to try on, this is the time to bring them out and to wear them. Almost everybody is gonna be dressed up in really cute attire. Also remember to bring layers. It's gonna be like 50 bazillion below zero in Chicago, but inside of the hotel, it's really kind of warm. So make sure that you have layers to be able to go from room to room. Some rooms might be cooler than others. So bring layers. Remember to bring slippers, room slippers or slippers to like go and get ice or whatever, because as much as they clean the hotel floors, hotel floors are not clean. Okay, they've got, they've got stuff on them that I can't mention here, okay? So bring cute little slippers that you have that you can show off and be like, look how cute I am and these, these cute slippers. But don't bring stuff like this because you're gonna need to wash them. <laughs> these don't wash very well. Or you can bring like socks or flip-flops. Flip-flops are another good one. For those of you who wear diapers, you want to bring enough diaper supplies. There's a whole section of the list that's dedicated to that. I know that there is a service that the hotel is providing where you can pre-order your diapers and have them there ahead of time. I believe that there's a small fee, but um, that information should be able to be found on capcon.club, I think is the website. If you're flying in, be sure to check with TSA and your airlines to see how much powder, baby powder, you can bring on because I know that they sometimes limit baby powder. Also, when you're bringing in supplies, check out the little teeny tiny mini ones because I, I don't think that you're gonna need more than like a travel size mini one. I mean, unless you have like a major rash, which you might want to go to the doctor for. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying maybe, you know, a big convention is not where you want to go. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but um, yeah, be sure to check TSA to make sure that you are following directions because you don't want to start your trip off in a, on a terrible note. And speaking of TSA, I'm going to give you some advice later on, on the best way to travel when you're trying to travel padded. Um, it's basically for people who don't normally wear or normally wear for incontinence reasons. Um, just some advice on that from experience. Bring disposable potty pads. <laughs> they're also, well, the ones that I use for disposable are really just the doggy pee pads because um, they're less expensive and they are just as good. Um, but you can also bring your regular one if you want to because this can actually serve as a blanket. Mine is so big. <laughs> you can actually use this as sort of a floor blanket. But the reason why you want to bring changing pads is to put like these are really great to put underneath your sheet just as added protection so that you don't damage the mattress because that would be terrible. Also, when you're being changed out in the public changing areas, they're not public changing areas. They're behind little curtains and stuff. You want to make sure that you protect yourself from the icky stuff of the person who may have changed before you and maybe did not clean it well. 
I'm just saying. So it's for your protection and other people's protection. Be safe. Also remember to bring individual diaper bags, disposal bags. And these you can buy either the larger ones that are meant for diapers, or you can get the super large ones that are, again, doggy bags. That's just good for adding an extra layer of, um, let's just say an odor barrier when you're tossing your, um, your used diapers. Everyone will thank you for it. And this next one is the most important, of course, of all. They're the comfort items. Um, so I'm going to give you some advice about those. B definitely bring a stuffy, at least one stuffy. Now, whether you bring your favorite stuffy or not is completely up to you. If you feel like you're going to be stressed that your favorite stuffy might get hurt or, you know, taken or something might happen, just leave leave them at home and bring the travel stuffy. Um, that way you won't be so stressed out because we don't want you to be stressed out. Everyone wants you to have a good time, right? Also, if you have a special blanket that you sleep with, bring that. A special pillowcase that you like or something cute to put on the other pillowcase or whatever just to make your bed area seem cute and to decorate it, I would do that. I have on here a calming sachet. A sachet is something that you can just put together in like a little baggie and tie it off with whatever smell calms you. If you like the smell of baby oil or something, just dip some baby oil on like a little um, cotton swab or cotton poof or something and put it in a little bag um, and then maybe put that in a plastic bag so it doesn't get all over anything. But that's kind of what I mean. Stuff that like you can just, if you need to calm down and relax, you can just smell it and it can kind of bring you zen. Um, I recently bought a, this really cool little stuffy type thing, this stuffy duck. Um, I bought that for boomberries because she's been getting migraines. So this is really great because you can heat it up and you can also stick it in the refrigerator. So depending on what you need, um, it can help. Plus it's a cute little stuffy and it smells like lavender too when you warm it up. It hits all of those spots for her. So she really loves it and it really does help for when she's not feeling well. You're going to want to get a good pair of earplugs because you might not know how your little roommates sleep. <laughs> they might be heavy, snorry sleepers. So get some earplugs. Now I just got these. These are loop loop earplugs. Well, these are, yeah, the ones that drown out noise, but loop, I just found out about them from Boomberries. They actually are meant for people who get distracted very easily or who have issues with um, noise sensitivity. They can help focus the voice on whomever you're talking to and kind of keep out the noise of everyone else. So you might want to look at that. So they go in and they twist into your ear and then they just kind of hide in your ear like this. So these are the noise cancellation ones. They're not as good as probably like um, the ones, the little squishy ones that you put in, but it's, it's a good way to just kind of get a little bit of quiet. She says that they're really helpful for her. Ah, the floor blanket. Little ones, you're gonna wanna bring some sort of floor blanket. Like I was saying, I use my huge changing pad that's almost the size of like a twin bed. I use that as a sort of floor blanket sometimes. Whatever you have, make sure that you designate which side is gonna be on the floor because the last thing you wanna do is be putting one side on the floor and then the next time you're like sitting there hanging out coloring and you're on the floor part and it's gross and you've got like weird cooties. And I don't think anybody wants cooties. I'm not sure and I don't judge because some people want cooties, I'm sure. So going along the lines of the floor blanket and earlier the slippers, I really, really want you to think of the floor as lava, okay? I want you to be like, oh my God, I'm going to burst into flames if I touch this with my bare little hands or my little petitas, right? So you want to be careful <laughs> unless you want the cooties. Again, again, I'm not judging. So if you're there and you have a bathtub, you are going to want to bring a bath toy. So bring a bath toy. <laughs> I'm so hilarious. <laughs> Not this one. This one's been a year. I mean, if you don't bring anything else, but this, bring a little cute bath toy with you. 
Just one little tiny guy, little mini guy, little guys to hang out with and to have some fun. An easy way to make bubble bath, I mean, it's not the biggest bubbles in the world, is if you, when you start your bathtub, just drizzle a little bit of the bath gel underneath it. You kind of have to sit there for a while <laughs> if you want it to have bubbles, but for me, it's worth it. Um, so just sit there, just right underneath the big tappy fountain thing, um, drizzle it slowly, and then you get some bath bubbles. It just adds to the fun. Okay, this next one is really important for something that's called Condrop. I'm actually gonna be doing a video on Condrop later, but Condrop is basically after the con, what happens after the con, like um, how some people will get really sad because it's, you're excited, you're excited, you're doing all these things that you've always wanted to do, you're making friends, and then you go home and return to your normal life and people can just get kind of sad about that and depressed. So a lot of the things that I'm telling you to bring are gonna help with Condrop after. One of those things is a journal or a drawing book. So this one that I have right here, it's just a regular little, little pad. It's a dot notepad and it helps for you to keep straight lines, but you can also use it for drawing and stuff. In the next video, I'm gonna be talking about making the most of a convention and you're gonna utilize this journaling a lot. Definitely bring one. I'm telling you, you're gonna want one. But you know, don't listen to me, that's fine. No one wants to listen to mommy until it's too late. But you're also gonna wanna bring crayons or colored pencils or colored pens, whatever you like to work with, you're gonna wanna bring some of those too. Okay, for your passy, cause you're, you know, a lot of you are gonna have passies. Be sure to bring the cover because when you're out and about and rolling around, we don't want this to get onto the lava floor, right? Because that is no bueno, no bueno. I know that you, a lot of you have really cute glass bottles, but for these ABDL conventions, you're gonna wanna bring a plastic bottle because glass isn't allowed in some of the areas. So be safe instead of being sorry <laughs> and bring a plastic one. Boone just got a really cool one that's a bigger, I think Nalgene bottle that is fitted with a nipple on top of it and it can be customizable. Same thing with the sippy cup. If you have a sippy cup, make sure that it is plastic. So say you need something a little bit more substantial than either of those. I'm bringing this. The Boone's got me like a bunch of stickers for Christmas and I had no idea what to do with them. So when she came to visit me again, she was just like, well, I don't want my stickers. And I was like, I don't know what to do with them. And she's like, well, the cool kids put them on their water bottles. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna deck this out in stickers. And I'm also going to bedazzle the side with mommy so that no one else steals it. Okay, another thing that you're gonna want to get is a cute little, no well, this isn't really cute. <laughs> it was a little tiny notebook and you wanna get like a cute pen or a cute pencil and a cute notebook, like probably one that's cuter than this, right? These are gonna go in your tiny backpack that you're gonna carry around, which is in this list too. Why you wanna bring this is for notes of like, if you go to any of the classes, it's for getting numbers and email addresses of the new friends you make. It's for drawing, it's for anything, but this one is your little teeny tiny one that isn't going to bog you down when you're running around like a crazy person, okay? So the next one is a small backpack. Now, they're gonna be giving us bags when we get there, but everyone's gonna have the same bag and it's huge and it's a little cumbersome. So I would suggest getting a cute little backpack, you know, just a little cute one that's like adorable that you really, they're the kind that like you couldn't use going anywhere else, but you just love it to death. It's like about maybe yay big and not good for anything except for like one carrot stick. This is the one that I'm gonna bring. Now this is not, you're not gonna be like, oh yeah, that totally is cute and I love it. No, this is, I'm a mommy, so I don't have to. But you know what, you can get something like this and like bedazzle it or like put stickers on it or something like that and make it cute, make it your own. Have fun with it because this is the time, like I've said before, to shine. In your little backpack is where you're gonna have your notebook, your pen, some snacks, hopefully like, I'm an advocate for like semi-healthy snacks so that your blood sugar doesn't drop, but like carrot sticks. It's also where you're gonna have your mini hand sanitizer. Please, for the love of all things good and holy, get sanitizer and bring it. Make sure you have one on you, a little tiny one on you at all times because we're still surrounded by, by COVID. I know the people don't wanna believe that sometimes, but 
not just COVID, but all kinds of really gross cootie things, okay? Bring face masks. Don't be afraid to still wear a face mask. I know that we will be just because I have autoimmune issues, but don't be afraid to wear one. There are so many really cute face masks that can actually help you if you're having any anxiety. You can just kind of hide behind it and still look adorable. It also can help prevent stuff. There are gonna be so many people there and we're gonna be all really close to one another. So err on the side of caution, it's fun. Maybe I'll bring stickers specifically for people who are wearing masks, I don't know as an incentive. Also, if you have an issue with like these bothering the back of your ears, which I sometimes do, I got these things, which are these little kind of hooky things. And when you put it on, you put this, that part on the back of your head. So speaking of hand sanitizer, speaking of masks, be sure to bring a couple of COVID kits because if we find out that someone has COVID there, you're gonna to wanna to test and make sure that you don't have it. Please test to make sure that you don't have it. Okay, so this next one is very important. Babies, I know that sometimes people say that they don't need to wear deodorant because they really don't smell and they feel like it clogs things or it's gonna give them the cancers or something, please, I beg of you, wear deodorant, wear antiperspirant, just for a few days that you're there. There are a lot of us that are gonna be there. And I can almost guarantee that if you don't wear deodorant, that you might be a little used to your smell. There's only been one person in my life who hasn't worn deodorant and she smelled like a baby. It's my darling Emma. <laughs> She's the only person that I've met. Ever. If you're not Emma, then just just do a little spritz, a little tiny rub, just a little one, two. It'll be great. It'll be fine. So I travel a lot. And one of my favorite things is a mini like shampoo, conditioner, gel, facial wash kit. I don't remember last time if they would replenish the, sh the shampoo and stuff, but I would bring your own just in case. Another thing that I bought, which I love. So I take a lot of different medication, right? Because again, I have like a couple of autoimmune issues. So in addition to my weekly pill holder, which a lot of you probably have if you're on um, various medications, I got tired of carrying like a big bottle of Advil and like Tums and all of these different bottles. So I bought this and this holds a bunch of different things. I would highly suggest getting one of these if you have, if you're like me trying to go anywhere for any period of time and you don't want to carry like 300 million bottles. At places like Target and Walmart, you can go and head to the travel section where they'll have like little sample packets of things. Another good thing to get is a little packet of laundry detergent. In case you leak or something, you can just hand wash something in the sink and hang it to dry. You'll also find, I mean, the stuff in the travel section is so cool. It's like miniature everything and you just wanna buy them. You wanna buy everything because it's so cute. It's just like this big, they're adorable. So you're also gonna wanna bring some snacks that you don't have to refrigerate because most of the rooms there don't have refrigerators. So that is like trail mix, um, protein bars. I highly recommend getting some protein bars because again, you guys are gonna be running around like crazy people and you're gonna need that protein. Make sure to get water. Water, 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 hydrate. One of the things that I do if I'm not feeling water is I get a little stirring type thing. I mean, you could also get like a lemon and put lemon wedges or something in there. Flare. Those of you who are older and know the movie Office Space will know what I'm talking about. Basically, when you get there and you have your lanyard, a lot of people will put flair and bling on their lanyard. So just all these cute little pins to just put a little zhuzh, you know, on you, a little bling bling when you're walking around and people are like, oh, what's that? And you can be like, oh, that's my flair. It's so cool, right? So you're going to want to bring some cute pins because it's just fun and cute. A really cool thing about ABDL conventions is that if we're almost like a big happy family when we're there, well, some people are, <laughs> some people aren't, not everybody is. What I thought is cool, the last cap was that people would make things and then they'd pass it out for free. So they were sharing these cute little bracelets that they were just giving out for free and just spreading the love. And I just think that is so cool. If you are not necessarily like super creative when it comes to these or to making, you know what, these are great friendship bracelets. Another great thing, it's just stickers. Just giving out stickers to people and be like, hey, you're cute, here's a sticker. I love stickers, I love stickers. I also love glitter, but you know, it's frowned upon when you go throwing glitter at people. And last but not least for the list 
is to leave, try, try, <laughs> try to leave room in your suitcase to bring stuff back with you because there are gonna be a lot of vendors there and they are small businesses. And this is when we want to support people in the community that are making things because if we want our community to be more robust for, for things that we want, um, we wanna support our, our small businesses, right? So be sure to leave some room. Instead of packing like however many days you're gonna be there, that many like onesies, maybe you just bring like two and plan to buy a couple from people who are there. That way you're supporting them and you're getting really cute new things and everyone's happy. So if you wanna fly while padded, that's fantastic and it's a great way to fly but there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind if you are not incontinent my advice is to wait until you've passed through security in order to change into a diaper i've had my littles and friends of mine experience the most terrible things when going through airport security and engaging with tsa they've been pulled over they've been meant to strip they've been laughed at they've had their diapers swabbed, their penises swabbed for um, residue and stuff like that. So if you don't have to, that would be my suggestion. Granted, you can if you want to, but you know, why just, why not just wait a little bit? Now, if you're incontinent and you have to wear diapers, you've already been through this. My suggestion for you is to make sure or try to be dry when you're going through airport security. That was some advice given to me from Young Bean who has been through this many times before. But if you're incontinent, you've, you know, you've, you've already got it down, I'm sure. My thought process is just have this expectation that you are gonna be pulled to the side for whatever reason and you know gone over. Odds are you're not going to, but just prepare. So like have on you what you're okay being searched wearing, you know? And then when you've gone through security, that's when you just go to the restroom and you just put on your little, your little pantaloons, you know? And then you get nice and comfy babies. It is not okay to mess your diapers on the plane or around any other people, period. But I know that none of you are going to do that, right? So other than all that stuff, hopefully some of these gave you some ideas or reminded you like, oh my God, I, I forgot that. So just go over to littlebabyboonursery.com and I'll have a link there somewhere that's like, hey, here's where you can get that. If you have any other ideas, please leave them in the comments below. If this helped you, please do a little thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel because part two is gonna be coming out in the next few days, hopefully. You definitely wanna subscribe because we're gonna be coming out with all kinds of fun stuff, you know, fun videos and stuff for your viewing pleasure, okay? So I am super excited. I know you guys are probably super excited, maybe a little bit terrified, but the next video is going to go into how to make the most out of the convention and it goes into the fun stuff. Well, it's all fun stuff, right? So I look forward to seeing you guys at Capcom if you guys are gonna be there or whatever convention that you guys are preparing for and stay safe. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. I'm stuck. I'm never getting out. This is it. This is my life now. <laughs>